beautiful crisp day here in Canada. And you're probably wondering, what does winter have to do with my attic mold? My name's Ross Sullivan. I'll be your host. You're watching The Mold Guy. Your attic should be freezing cold, freezing cold in the winter. You go up there and go, yeah, this is cold. That means your soffit vents are breathing properly. Your roof vents are letting the air out properly. You have enough insulation to contain the heat within the house. Nothing out of the ordinary is venting into the attic. That's perfect. It's when you have block soffits. Now, these are soffits. You see the overhang of the roof. Underneath, you'll see a vent. A vent every so often, or the whole thing can be vented. It doesn't matter. As long as there's a vent somewhere allowing air to get in. And then that air then exits through the, the, the roof vents at the top of your roof. And that natural convection happens all day long until the evening. Hot attics are caused by block soffits. Insulation has gone into the soffit, blocked it, no air can get in. Low insulation. So if you have this much insulation, that's low insulation. It should be, you know, somewhere around 18 inches of insulation, typically. There's factors on the depth, how high the pitch, how low the pitch, but that's for another day. Too few roof vents allowing the air to get out. Sometimes people will hook up a bathroom vent to one of those uh, roof vents, thereby blocking it, and now not enough air is escaping. Uh, or that same bathroom vent, or a kitchen vent, or a dryer vent exiting into the attic. And that will heat up an attic pretty quick. Uh, the other killer of attics, animal infestation. Uh, rodents, they love the attic in the wintertime. It's the perfect temperature. And they will literally Swiss cheese your insulation throughout. Um, raccoons will burrow, make nests, move all the insulation out of the way. They'll trample the whole thing down. They make a hell of a mess. Squirrels, same thing. So how does that all equate to mold in the attic? There's a natural convection that happens all day long. The sun comes out or even a, just a day heats up the roof. Natural convection, hot air rises up through the uh, roof vents, pulling fresh air in through the soffit vents. And that just keeps on going. Happens in the summer, happens in the winter. In the summer, it keeps the, uh, uh, the roof cool enough that it, the sun doesn't destroy your, uh, your shingles. In the, in the winter time, what you're trying to do is keep that attic nice and cold. Cold winter morning, when you get minus temperatures and you'll see frost outside on people's cars. If you go up into your attic, shine a flashlight before the sun comes out, shine a flashlight around, and you have that same frost inside your attic, you have a problem. What happens on that cold winter night when we get down to those minus temperatures? That natural convection shuts down. So if you have a little bit of heat getting into your attic, it dissipates in the cold air, no harm, no foul. But if you have a lot of heat getting into the attic and it's basically trapped there, it will condensate on the cold roof sheathing and it'll freeze. And that's where you'll see frost, icicles, even snow. In the morning, the sun comes out, melts the uh, south side first. And that, when as soon as it melts, that water just runs down the roof sheathing and that's where the mold gets its water from every day. On the north side, it stays wetter, longer. Chances are you'll grow mold on the north side of your house first. So the only time you're going to know if you have all your things aligned, everything's fixed, uh, is on that cold winter morning, minus temperatures. You're going to go up into your attic or have somebody qualified to go up into your attic because there's a lot of uh, perils on the way up and, and looking in. Um, shine that flashlight around. And if you see frost, you still have a problem. You haven't resolved everything that needs to be done. Maybe opening up more soffit vents, maybe installing more roof vents, making sure that your, your installation is topped up properly. So here's a few pictures. 
These are uh, pictures of mold in the attic. Um, you'll see that it doesn't look fresh anymore. It is not a fresh looking plywood or OSB or plank. Mind you, plank is old by now, so it's going to be black just from age, uh, but you don't want any white growth on it. And then this is the after. This is what it should look like, brand new. And if it doesn't, you have a problem. Now, that attic mold growth does not become part of your house because of natural convection, stack effect. Everything from the basement comes to the next level, goes up, finds a way into the attic, up through the roof fence. That's just the way a house works. When you open up a, uh, the attic hatch, you'll feel air rushing in by you because now you've just made another soffit vent for the attic. Thanks for watching. My name is Ross Sullivan. You're watching The Mold Guy. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye now.